Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Make it wise. Let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 46, NASDAQ up 17, S&P's up 7.5. Gold contract on nineteen dollars and sixty cents, trading at eleven fifty an ounce. Silver off nineteen cents at fifteen dollars and fifty one cents an ounce. Platinum down nineteen dollars at one thousand one ninety eight an ounce. Copper down a penny and a half at three oh two a pound. Light sweet crew down a buck twenty seven, trading out at seventy seven dollars and thirty nine cents a barrel. Bonds we have the ten year down twelve six one twenty six oh nine. Thirty year off twenty two at one forty thirty one. King dollar up uh, 189.6 at 87.91. You got the euro down 34 at 124, and the yen's trading up uh, 31 at 114.90. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. I know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, what do you have? We are trading at 2037. The high is 2038. Um, bottom line, S&P refuses to back off. Uh, volume is light once again. If you go over to the SPY, we take a look at the SPY. SPY uh, thus far today has done 46 million shares. Uh, your swing point, <laughs> that's pretty amazing. The swing point has 151 million shares at 201.68. Uh, it's taken over another swing uh, that also had uh, 246 million with 46 million. So it's... it's <laughs> It's zero volume up at these highs, folks. Dow Industrials, let's take a look at the Dow. As The, the Dow had pulled away from the range it's in also. Uh, the, 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 bar, the, the range is like 151. Right now you're at 620. Um, lighter volume, yes, higher price. Uh, putting juice into the Dow Industrials today, you have United uh, Health is up $1.24. You got Walmart up 103. Uh, Nike's up 121, and you get Big Blue up 181. Taken away from it, you get Visa down 230. Merck is off 54 cents. Uh, Chevron is down a dollar six, and you got Intel off uh, 20 cents. We go take a look at the Nasdaq. Nasdaq Composite. What do you have with the Composite? Composite right now is up 17 dollars, trading at 4649. Your high out there is 4654. We've hit the 53 level uh, thus far. If we go and we take light volume, if we go take a look at the three Qs, the NDX 100, uh, NDX 100 right now uh, is at 101.98, and you're up there with 16 million, and as one of our targets says, the beats does go on. The beats does go on, and uh, bottom line, uh, we'll see whether the NDX 100 can also push out of this level. Uh, the level we're talking about is 100.34. The gold contract, GCZ4, let's go to the gold. What you had with gold on Friday, gold had wide price spread, accelerated volume on the way up on Friday. You're down $20 right now uh, with 181,000 contracts traded. And we'll see, uh, you know, how it's going to basically test out this bottom. Friday, 11.30 was the low, 11.79 was the high. You had the juice behind the move. Uh, you're pulling back today with... Uh, 181 million versus 181,000 contracts versus the 298,000. Of course, what you got to get into is that this whole, this low that was established on Friday um, will hold. Will it hold? I suspect it's going to hold. You could spike it. Why? The GLD we went up on 10.9 million. You're pulling back today on 6.3. More important, though, what you have is that you have the XL. XAU and the HUI, both of those had got below the 2008 levels. Um, that level is uh, 63.52 in the XAU, and you're still pulling back into that level with lighter volume. The HUI, same deal. So in both cases, they rejected lower price. They had lighter volume. You're coming back down to the bottom of those uh, to test those out. Right now, we're at 155.74. That low that got tested last week uh, was on the HUI was 150. And what you do have there is that you're going to have a rejection of lower price. You're going to have it on the daily, weekly, and it looks to me like you're going to have it on the monthly also. 877-927-6648. Let's go over to the bond market. We take a look at bonds. What do we have with bonds? Ten-year bond trading out at... Uh, 
126.09. Bonds also stopped moving last week with volume. Uh, got a little bit higher high today. The volume's light. So we'll see how it's going to uh, basically handle the 125.07 area. Right now you're at 126.09. And uh, I expect what you're going to see is that this is going to basically build cause to get up to the 127.16, which is the high volume high on the 15th. Um, the, if you look at the Wall Street Journal today, you'll see it's on the front page. Bottom line is that uh, the SEC is claiming that they're, they're trying to figure out what happened on the 15th of October and the 15th of October. That's when um, the bonds, uh, the 10 and the 30, uh, went to the moon. Rates went down. We broke uh, 2 percent in about a heartbeat. Uh, and then it basically came right back. Bottom line, folks, is that... Uh, that's what, that's what trading's all about. They can, they can scratch their heads as, as much as they want, but when folks are getting in and getting out that quick, that's a high-volume spike, and it's going to go back up there. 30-year bond, 148. We're at 140.31 right now. That wants to get tested. The oil contract. So let's go over and take a look at oil. What we have with oil is this. Oil's trading out uh, at 77.34. This little baby looks to me like we're, we're going to talk in 70 bucks. It's an ABC structure on the way down. Uh, it hadn't been able to even get back above the... 79.44 uh, level. Well, I guess we did. We got 79.85 today and gave it up. Uh, XLE did the same thing. XLE is a monster ABC structure on their way down. Um, you know, got to a higher high today, had light of volume, not going to be able to handle that swing point up there at the 88.41. What that sets up, it's going to go after 80.77, and we'll see uh, how it handles that level. The bottom of that day is the 77 level, and that's, you break that 77, if you have juice behind the move, that's an ABC structure on the way down. Dollar index, uh, King Dollar, King Dollar just refuses to back off. What we had with the King Dollar out here today got down to a price point of uh, 87.20. We've done 34,000 contracts thus far, and that's basically saying the dollar back down with light of volume again, and those highs are going to get tested, and that's what's uh, basically taken apart. Uh, oil and taking apart gold. Uh, we go take a look at uh, the commodities market out here. You get natural gas is down uh, three percent. You get uh, gold off 1.9, crudes off 1.6, silvers off 1.4. Lean hogs about the only thing that's up there. That's up uh, 0 0.76. CMCSA, the Comcast. Comcast is getting whacked out here. This is all about net neutrality. Uh, Comcast is down two dollars and sixty-two cents with volume. The, uh, it has a high volume low that's been hanging out here since the October 15th level. It's going to be interesting to see whether uh, Comcast is going to be one of the first ones to reach down and grab into that level. The reason being, we're 52.55. Once it got back inside 53, that's saying, hey, it's going to go to the bottom of that range. That bottom of that range is 49.33. And we'll see how it attacks that 49.33. What this is all about uh, on a fundamental basis is that... Um, President Obama called for the strongest possible rules to protect the open Internet, advocating stricter controls than a regulator he appointed, uh, causing shares of Comcast and other broadband providers to drop. I am asking for an explicit ban on paid prioritization, Obama said today in a statement referring to so-called fast lane for preferred web traffic. Uh, this is going to be a battle, folks, um, that is going to be out there in an incredible way. Our man Dave White uh, has talked about it when we do the show on Fridays. Uh, he talks about it on his own show, and uh, the bottom line is that if you go over and take a look at Charter Communications, that's down $8.20, trading at 148 That's also down with volume, and what's intriguing here is that when you look at Charter or Comcast, you can see that go south on the 31st of July, go south again October 15th, you're coming down to those levels, and it's like, how does... Uh, the market know that uh, this thing is going to be a big deal, and it is going to be a big deal, folks. Um, and, we'll, and we'll see where this whole uh, deal does shake out. But the, the, bat the battle line uh, is drawn, and we'll see whether they decide that the Internet is going to be regulated as a utility. Uh, and if it is a utility, uh, you know, we'll see what the structure, what the pricing structure is. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. You stay right there, folks, because I... 3.30. Come back from the broker at 3.30. We're going to have Mr. Do, John, Dr. John Nigerian on. We're going to be talking options. We're going to be talking about an e-signal webinar that's absolutely free. You can sign up right in the front page uh, website of TFNN.